I know so few Elton John songs that I thought that song I'm Still Standing was an original song by that gorilla from Sing. Welcome to the objective review of Rocket Man. And in the objective review, I break the movie down into six categories and assign weights to them, depending on the genre, to have the most honest, unbiased, objective review as possible. So let's get started with the first category of story. So how does a fat boy from nowhere get to be a soul man? You gotta kill the person you were born to be in order to become the person you wanna be. The story is a very fantastical biopic of the musician Elton John, and it follows his rise to fame and stardom. And on that rise, he goes through depression, he goes through alcoholism, drug abuse, and many other just self-abuse. And I really love the beginning of the story. I really love that little bit of struggle he had, or a little bit of growth he had. But then the movie hit a certain point where I felt like when he hit that deep, deep depression, and all these characters around him were sort of, they're all kind of static in a sense. And then from that point on, there really wasn't that much conflict in the film. So it just all felt really fillerish. Like they just had to fill two hours of this film. There is a very deep moral here about depression. And when you go through it, you should really tell someone to get help. And no matter where the help comes from, you should really reach out to someone. The thing about the story of this film is that to me, there really just isn't that much story. So it gets a seven out of 10. That's on two emotion. So how does it feel to be a star? It's never gonna last. Let's just enjoy it while we can. I really did not get that emotional at all in this movie. That's really sad to say. There were a lot of good, like, tender moments, I think. And Taron Egerton, of course, did a great job emoting those. I just think because of the lack of conflict, there wasn't that much oomph. There wasn't that much, you know, like, yeah, we got to that point. Or, yeah, we moved past this or you finally stuck it to that person, there just wasn't that much conflict or resolution, so there wasn't that much emotion from me. So emotion gets a seven and a half out of 10. That's on to action. There was a little bit of action here. I mean, action doesn't just have to be someone punching each other or a car chase. There was a lot of great movement on the screen. A lot of great movement. The dancing was really well done. The dance choreography, was really intricate and exciting and just really eye-grabbing. Turner Edgerton did an amazing job there. Well, and all the action was so-so. It's a seven out of 10. That's on to comedy. What a shy little boy you were. <laughs> Look at you now. This movie was not really funny at all. I only chuckled a couple of times. I can't really call out any one character for being all that comedic. I do think there was one regular executive that I thought was fairly comical. I mean, just the way that he interacted with with Elton John and how he kind of just crapped all over him all the time, but then really he was not all that bad. But all in all, the comedy was a little subpar. It's a six and a half out of ten. Then it's on to acting. Little bit funny. This feeling inside. And this is where this movie completely just shatters expectations. I think Taron Egerton does an amazing job playing Elton John. He not only embodies the character and just his acting and his dialogue and his absolute amazing movement across the screen, but he also sings the crap out of this role. And he has a very beautiful voice. He just does a great job just being Elton John. Like you do absolutely buy that he is this person, that, he, that the words are actually coming out of his mouth, that he is working visually and he sees music this way. And everyone else is fairly fine. No one drug down the film, but this is really a movie just about Elton John, just about Taron Edgerton's character, and he did an amazing job. Give that a nine and a half out of ten. That's on to directing. Do you even care? This movie is very visually creative. I mean, the director took so many. I think bold choices. I mean, this is very much a musical, meaning that it can step outside and sort of break that, you know, that, that fourth wall and characters can do things that they can't do in normal dramas. They can float, they can gravitate, they can get in these weird chases, they can break out and dance. 
there are so many great shots, I think, in this film. There's a lot of great long shots that of a, just a huge musical number. This movie is like a very long music video, in a sense. Like someone like, oh, release an album, like, I don't know, Childish Gambino, aka Donald Glover. Actually, him doing this, like, hey, I'm just gonna write a script and release, release a movie for this album that I did, you know, on my off chance, I'm so talented. Maybe that's why some of the story felt a little flat for me. And again, the music was absolutely amazing. And I am not an Elton John fan. There was, I think, 80% of these songs I did not know. Like when it comes to Elton John, I know Rocket Man, I know Crocodile Rock, I know a couple other things, Benny the Jets, but I only know that because of Mary J. Blodge. Pacing this film, like I said before in the story, when the characters started being very static and no one really progressed that's when the movie started to drag on a lot and that's also the time where the music kind of stopped and it stopped being kind of upbeat and stopped being like just out of its own mind but that doesn't bring the director's score down that much directing gets a 9 out of 10. that brings my weighted average score to an 8.0 out of 10. i thought this movie was a really good movie although i will say i don't think i need to see it again necessarily and i think there are other music biopics that are done way better like strata compton like bohemian rhapsody um but this movie is still really good if anything go and see it return edgerton he absolutely slays this movie all right let me know what you think please like comment and consider subscribing sincerely thank you for watching i'm out